uh, with the Nutra Medical Report and Dr. Bill. Hi, Ryan. I'm here. I, I made oh, it. Sorry, I was a few I minutes you late. Were, you were coming on. I was just getting an intro going there. Oh, good. Okay, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> so I was just talking about uh, just saying that uh, work with Dr. Bill and the Nutra Medical Report, and uh, here we are uh, starting the Health and Wellness Hour. Obviously, lots of people listening and interested oh, yeah. in what Dr. Bill has, has to uh, say yeah. regarding health and wellness conditions and um, and the products that can make a difference in uh, overcoming some of the issues that uh, could be nutrient deficiencies, that could be caused by what's known as depletions, meaning you might take medications uh, that cause you to have some challenges that way. And then right. also bioavailability or genetic SNPs. All of those things come together and create these storms uh, in our bodies and in our health. And unfortunately, our, our, obviously, our standard medical system, which Dr. Bill was a part of early in his life, um, you know, it's not filling these voids. And so that's where this well, place I, is. I, I'll tell you how we entered the system. I entered as an ecologist because I was an oceanographer and a biochemist. And I'd ask questions of the pathologists and the specialists, and what happened is they couldn't answer because they didn't understand the advanced biochemistry. If I had my druthers in medical school, they'd have to defend a medical integrative PhD. It would include uh, intermediate metabolism, genetics, stealth pathogens, quantum biophysics, and toxicology. And if they didn't know these things, they couldn't graduate because you can't really problem solve in a toxic world nowadays without knowing this. When I see a patient, and Tomas, are we getting our, it all fixed up? Okay, we have Jerry Barrett now. We uh, made a mistake. It's actually a rebroadcast tomorrow hour three. will be our hour one for uh, Tuesday with uh, Ryan Frace. Jerry Barrett, uh, Power of Prophecy, you're the guy that replaced uh, our amazing um, uh, broadcaster for Prophecy of Prophecy for many years. Um, what was his name again, just to make sure everybody knows? Texmars. Tex Mars. Now, I talked to Tex on the weekend, and he's kind of shaking your staff because I just called this morning to, to get the numbers for all the other contact people. I want to interview a lot of the people, for example, like Dan Patrick. He wrote a book or video, I think, called uh, The People of Gog and Magog. Now, a lot of people really don't understand the breadth and depth of my knowledge in almost every area. Medicine, science, geopolitics, and biblical, etc. And I didn't always know these things. I'm just very curious. And what people should start understanding is you can't dismiss the Bible. The Bible was not written by men. It was written by the Creator God, and he had a few scribes that God would talk to. And remember, God is speaking outside of time and space. God knows everything because to God there is no such thing as a past or future. It's only now to God. Isn't that wild? Everything to God is now. A million, a billion years from now is now to God. A billion years of the past is now to God. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I like one of my favorite books of the Bible is the book of Job. And uh, I don't think people understand the vision of the Creator. Some of the people are really good that we have our Ken Klein on talking about the visions of Ezekiel and Jeremiah. And I think he's up like my cohort. He's got the uh, prophetic calling and vision like Ezekiel or Isaiah. Remember it talks about in the Bible that there will be two witnesses at the time of the end, a Mosaic witness and an Ezekiel or Isaiah type, Jeremiah type witness, to give the visions of God and give the, the, call, the calling orders to bring the, the covenant of human beings together to get their marriage supper ready for the marriage of the Most High God to the people. So far, and again, I haven't got it totally confirmed yet, Ken Klein is that man, and I am the Mosaic witness. Now, that might be a, a fan people, I haven't been invited to any churches since 2000 when I spoke at Living Waters Fellowship in St. Paul, Minnesota. Isn't that amazing when I have millions of audience over the last 20 years from Prophecy Club 42 cities that no one's even curious to ask Dr. Deagle to come in by video link? Why do you think that is? I want you to ask the question, why do you think that is, Jerry? And when I talk to people uh, that are even very knowledgeable, like, you know, to be honest with you, Tex Mars is a super genius. This guy is not only a technical expert on military stuff, but he's also a genius in the Bible. And the people you have on your ministry, by the way, and I, I strongly tell people, support and buy and support this ministry, Power of Prophecy. And when they get your newsletter, it's like, whoa, man, this newsletter is the best Christian newsletter with truth about all the ugly stuff that no other ministry will talk about. You guys yeah. go there. Nobody else does it. I, I got newsletters up my yin-yang, and they have all kinds of people. I'm not even going to mention some of their names. I don't want to give them any popularity. 
The Power of Prophecy is amazing. Now, what's the website? Powerofprophecy.com. You'll get a regular newsletter. You should pay for it, and you should get the videos and the other material. And we're going to try to bring on a lot of the people on the program because I like to dig deep. I'm the kind of person that would ask questions that would find the answer as to why a certain state is such. Now, God made me this way because I'm the modern version of my ancestor, Moshe, Moses. That prophecy was given 2,000 years ago in, in the Sanhedrin, uh, sorry, in the, in, the, in the council in Israel and passed in, blood, in writing in parchments through my family for 2,000 years that one would arise as a prophet like Moses in the Naima family. We can Naima are the combination of the Medians, the Naimi tribe, and the Kohanim that were descended from Moses 2,800 years ago in Eshvan that would tell the people what's coming. Now, me as a little boy, I was a DOA baby. Eight years later, a French surgeon cut an artery in my neck and I went to heaven and met God face to face. People said, oh, you're a nut, Deagle. No, I'm not. I'm not afraid to tell you the truth of what I've been through. Let me tell you, both natural and supernatural. In fact, I'm putting together a private video channel so not just a regular person, but people can sign in and they're going to see videos about things that I don't talk about in great discussion with PowerPoints and videos and so on, but they're going to be on my private video channel on Clay and Iron, Nutra Medical, and, uh, and Deagle Network. And I'm going to discuss things in a much deeper fashion than even the shows I discuss. But people need to know the hundreds of supernatural interventions that's God done with me are not open to opinion. They're just the way it is. I, and I don't know everything. I'm a limited. I have a bunch of three by five cards that say, Thus saith the Lord, are not my damn opinion. And right now, I think one of the things that really ticked me off, this is on Monday, Josh Bernstein, who I consider a decent Jew, but he disagreed with me that the only, the only alliance in Israel is Israel with America. Well, guess what? I have Syrian blood. My ancestors in the Bashas in Syria owned the caravan that traveled from Damascus to the Middle East for thousands of years. The caravan owners are my blood ancestors. My blood ancestors were the Magi that brought the gifts of Jesus when he was born. My blood ancestors were married the daughter of the King of Medes 2,800 years ago. So I know in my own blood genetics exactly what's going on in the Middle East. It's not just open to opinion. And we're really, really close to the end, aren't we? God help us, man. The power of prophecy, which is why your newsletter is so important. So, Jerry, I'd like you to kind of introduce what topics would you like to cover today? Because this stupid move um, by Donald Trump to abandon the Kurds to the Syrians and not to sex Syria away from Iran and Russia, this guarantees that prophecy that Damascus will be destroyed by nuclear fires in a little bowl. And that Israel is not going to make it out of here really well, even if they use the Samson option. It's going to get very dangerous, very ugly, isn't it? So give us your input. Very much so. Yeah, um, I really, personally, Dr. Bale, don't have a problem pulling our troops out of Syria. I think we should bring them all home and let, I mean, those people's yeah, in the let, let, me, let, let me explain for thousands of years. Okay, let, let me give you a different viewpoint, okay? When you deal with a bad enemy, what do you do? Do you swat it around like a fly, or do you kill it? Well, if we have a no. full and clear military objective to go in and take care of business, but it was never declared Obama sent troops in after he won a Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah, I, I don't want to have troops embedded there where they die. You know what I would do if I was in the military? i go in with battlefield nukes, advanced space, space weapons, drones and killer robots, which we have, and I would wipe the hell out of the other side. I would do it in a weekend. I wouldn't have troops sitting there so it could be blown up by bombs and IEDs. I've taken care of vets going back 40 years have been blown up or their legs blown off or whatever, and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of spending trillions of dollars on stupid wars where the military, including senators, want us to be parked so we can die in these stupid places. Yeah. We could kill a bugger so fast for example, what I would recommend we do with Russia and China, if you listen to my slow, short list, we would immediately freeze the bank accounts of all the oligarchs in Russia, all the PLA members uh, in the People's Republican Army that are the most billionaires in the world. I would immediately uh, blockade the oil from Iran and from Venezuela, and I cut off Cuba. 
I would immediately send in special Delta Force Special Ops to remove the nukes in La Rochila Island and Punta Huerta, Nicaragua. I would immediately send in a Delta Force to decapitate and kill quickly Erdogan, who's threatening to not only take our nukes, he tried it twice. The last time was just two days ago, and he wants nukes. This maniac, the most dangerous man in the Middle East, wants nukes. I agree with you, pulling troops. What are troops doing? They're sitting like a target. They're, they're what I would do would be would be over in a weekend. It would be a weekend deal. We would use everything we got, space-based weapons, battlefield nukes, drones, killer robots, whatever, and i just clean a place up. Yeah, and the same with these other I'm countries that we're so-called playing around with. Why do we play? Do you know why we play? Because the military-industrial complex likes money. Basically, build more tanks, build more of this, build some more of this to this in that country. That's what the game is. The game is how do we make more money selling crap? For example, right. sell to Turkey. Turkey bought Russian uh, anti-missile systems. Like, why do we allow that? And they're still in NATO? Because we're dummies. Why wasn't Turkey removed from NATO? Why do we have... F-16 fighters, and by the way, if you don't replace the chips on an F-16 fighter, they last a week. So we could easily shut down their friggin' military, and why don't we? We're dummies. So when Trump's just saying, I'm going to pull 28 troops, that's not the problem. The problem is we don't take action, just like we didn't take action in Libya. And then we went after, uh, after uh, uh, the leader of Libya, surrendered to us, including his nuclear devices, which he's building in Libya, and then we killed him in the back of a truck and shoved a steel rod up inside him. And he was actually surrendering to us. And Hillary Clinton, cackle, cackle, cackle. We came, he shot, he died, cackle, cackle, cackle. That's what she said. Yeah. People need to understand. I understand what you're saying when you want to pull our troops. You know why? Because we're stupid. Why are we there for 20 years or 18 years or 19 years in, our, uh, in Saudi Arabia or in Afghanistan? I had, listen to this. A tech taking care of the F, uh, the, the Black Hawk helicopters and the F, uh, and the uh, and the long range uh, Hercules C-130s at Aurora Air Force. I was actually one of their doctors and a civil aviation de- uh, uh, examiner for decades and decades. And he had a panic. He wanted to come into my office and he said, "Doctor, you got to see me after hours." I said, "Okay, why?" Because I saw it. I mean, what did you see? He saw a shrink wrap pallets loaded to the gunnels of a Hercules C-130 back from Afghanistan. This is back 25 years ago. This is before 9-11 even happened. And he said, because he saw, I saw it, they're going to kill me. I said, what do you mean they're going to kill you? I know they have all this illegal drug trade. We made a deal with the Taliban in Afghanistan to make sure if they didn't interfere with our supply lines and so on, we wouldn't interfere with their sale of carfentanil, of, you know, of, of crocodile heroin and illegal heroin coming into the country. So... In other words, business is always first, including in America, whether it's the military, the Pentagon, or the Congress or Senate. I agree with you, and we put our blood and money out. For example, when we put out our deal back in the 70s and 60s to have start up what's called petrodollar, why do you think we're not putting troops against the, Syria, the Turks? No, we're putting them in Saudi Arabia to protect our oil fields because we believe in the petrodollar. The reason why the dollar is strong is because it's supported by oil from the Middle East. So if you yeah. don't understand what's really going on behind the scenes... You don't understand. I agree with Trump wanting to pull troops, but whack the shit out of them. Hit them with nukes if you have to. Decapitate the damn regime. Kill Erdogan so fast you won't ever hear it at a pulse. And if we don't, by the way, the Jews will. And when the Jews release the Samson option, the world will shake because it'll be the end of most civilization. Amen. Do you have difficulty taking supplements? Are you searching for a high-quality, complete nutritional drink that your whole family will love? Nutramedical's Life Support has arrived. All of your daily nutritional requirements in one quick, delicious drink. Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support is a proprietary blend of vegan protein, activated vitamins, essential minerals, amino acids, probiotics, green tea, digestive enzymes, anti-inflammatories, cancer prevention, detoxification, and much more. Your body will high-five you for this one. Life Support is the best complete nutritious meal replacement on the market. Whether you are an elite athlete, have post-operative challenges, chronic illness, elderly, or a family that just wants a quick, delicious drink, try Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support for optimized nutrition in one great-tasting smoothie. Just add cold water, almond milk, fruit, or anything else you like. Nutramedical's Life Support. Try our great-tasting chocolate or vanilla today. Call 888-212-8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Nutramedical.com for the whole family. Legacy Emergency Foods is the top recommendation from Dr. Bill Deagle. 
for the lowest oxygen concentration, the largest entrees, the highest amount of protein, the most varied entrees as well, and the longest food storage life. Nothing like Legacy Moods Emergency Foods, and if you place a regular monthly order, you get 20% off and free shipping. Do get emergency foods for your supply for preparation and get it from Legacy Foods. Contact Dr. Bill Deagle for the link at Nutramedical.com. Go to the Shop by Products link and drop down message at Nutramedical.com and then place your orders for regular emergency food for yourself and your family. Nothing like emergency food if the power goes out and you can't go to grocery stores or if there's an emergency or a national crisis. So Nutramedical.com, top recommendation, Legacy Foods. Nutramedical.com, go to the Shop by Products and drop down menu and stay well with Nutramedical every day of your life. Lumen Photon Therapy, infrared light, far and near infrared, is extremely important for pain control, simulation of nitric oxide, improved perfusion, and stem cell activation and reduction of cytokines. Dr. Bill uses it for pain control, for regeneration techniques, for organ regeneration, and for stimulation of your stem cell activity. Uh, this amazing uh, Lumen Photon Therapy this year will probably have an additional device with frequency therapy during the on phase of the lights. To obtain a Lumen Photon machine, contact Dr. Bill at Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871. He'll prescribe it with the providing nutraceuticals to help with your regeneration, healing, and pain control. Nothing like the Lumen Photon Therapy for uh, easy therapy for your eyes, your pain, your joints, regeneration of organs, detoxification of the body. Get a Lumen Photon machine from Dr. Bill Deagle, Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871. To stay well with Nutramedical. The Sonic Life Machine is one of the most amazing therapies that Dr. Bell provides. It is the best sine wave exercise machine on the planet, doing whole body vibration, opening up the muscle to reduce insulin resistance, improve perfusion, release stem cell therapies throughout the body, and epigenetically stimulate the body to release DNA activated. Uh, the epigenetic therapy with the uh, sine wave curve of frequencies given for atomic resonance by Linus Pauling for minerals and amino acids stimulates the production of messenger RNA to correct structural protein enzyme deficiency for almost every illness. There's nothing like the sine wave therapy for improving body healing for exercise, but also the epigenetic treatments Dr. Bell can provide can help neutralize frequencies for disease states and illness. Get a Sonic Life machine through Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com. Contact us at Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871, or go to the website Nutramedical and give us a contact. Dr. Bill is available to help you get well with Nutramedical. Need a powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens? Allison Med is the powerful universal pathogen killer's latest advance of German-sourced Allison, enzymatically stabilized to clear the body of bacteria, fungi, mycobacteria, and parasites. It penetrates body biofilms and is non-toxic to tissues. Pathogen resistance cannot develop for long-term body-optimized wellness. Clear stealth pathogens that promote autoimmune disease, cancer, and vascular inflammation and plaque and promote healing of tissues. Now pathogen-free. With 200 milligrams more power than prior Alamed, you can't get a more powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens. Give your body what it needs. Allison Med. Order Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutridyne at 888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. That's 1-888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. And listen to the Nutramedical Report on the Genesis Radio Network with open lines every weekday. Nutramedical.com, bringing nutrition and medicine together. Yeah, she gave me excuses this morning. We've got a short staff and all that stuff. I said... Don't give me excuses, just do it, okay? Just send me a few numbers and I'll call them and I'll email them and I'll bring them on the show and I'll do videos and I'll promote the heck out of your ministry. So, uh, Jerry, the <clears throat> story went in a little rant. I'm a little bit angry this morning because of what I had to deal with Monday with Jerry, with uh, Josh Bernstein, who's a Jew. He's a decent Jew. And he's not a wizard like some of the maniacs, like the son in law of Donald J. Trump, Mr. Ar narcissistic egomaniac in the White House who thinks his. Masonic name is Apollyon Rising because he's not only talking about Space Force. He wants to terraform Mars. He's not just talking about putting a man on the moon. He's a liar. People don't understand what's really going on here, and he's not a Christian. And even the people who focus on the family say, well, he's a Christian, maybe baby Christian. There's no such thing as a baby Christian. If you become a Christian, you do the Lord's will, even if you die for it. 
Being a Christian is like Delta Force, isn't it? It's not funny. It's not, oh, and milk and cookies. There's no such thing as milk and cookies Christianity. You do God's will or else. And by the way, you can only sin against God, not against man or nature or anything else. So if you don't do God's will, everything else you do in your own will is by definition sin and deserves death. Right? Yeah. Now, people don't take God seriously. I do. I take God seriously. In fact, when I was on the clouds in heaven, and he was saying, you know, Bill, I want you to go back. I said, I don't really go back, but I'll go to do back to tell your people the truth to save millions of lives, not only just physical lives, but also their souls being separated from you forever. He said, now, Bill, if you go back and you fall away and do evil, I'll destroy you. I'll annihilate you. And I said, I love you so much, God. I will do your will and give the message to your people when you send me back to earth. He cried. And he said, not since your ancestor Moshe as a human man or woman ever said to me, take my name from the book of life to save my fellows. And for this reason, when you fall away and do great evil in my sight, I will shake your ugly human carcass and make you a son again. And I did evil. I did abortions. And he shook my ego car carcass because I thought I was justified. My first wife had MS a month after we got married. They said if she didn't have an abortion, she was going to die. We did it, and afterward, when I was required to do abortions at the Calgary General, I did them until I got a supernatural visitation by an angel and was working in the ICN and told me, get up, get up, put the information, the equipment in the, uh, in the abortuary the next day. We're going to do a late-term abortion, although we lied on the paperwork. Woman was a drug addict. She had a small for days baby. When the senior resident plunged the needle into her abdomen, the amniotic sac, the baby was writhing like anything. It's like a B-movie. And I went down there with a the gomco suction to cut the cord and saved it. She popped the baby out, and I saved it. The surgeon, Dr. Mata, who the previous week asked me to become his understudy and take over as a senior resident of the obstetric department, tried to plunge a scalpel into my neck and kill me on the spot in the operating room. And he orderly hold his arms back within four inches of cutting my carotid artery in my neck. I rushed the baby to the ICN and the head of the Department of Family Medicine said, Deagle, you can't come back to this hospital. If Dr. Mata sees you, gonna, he's packing, he'll kill you on sight, and we can't stop him. Do you have any idea what shit and what crap, excuse my hell, how Dr. Deagle has been through to tell you the truth out there, people? There is no individual on earth that I know who has been through more crap and been more exposed to good and evil than I have. And if you don't love God to the point where you're willing to even put your own eternal existence to save others from the truth, from the lie and truth. God can't use you. Why do you think he's using me? He's using me because I love him so much, I go back even in danger of losing my eternal soul to the Most High God. And for this reason, I have a relationship with God. I trust him. But God, you see, is not only the creator, he's also the annihilator, the destroyer. He's not the devil. He's the perverter. God creates and God destroys. Nothing can be destroyed except by God. Isn't that true? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. People don't take that. They don't have that other side of God. Yeah, you know, God's such a nice guy. No, he's not. God is a loving God. God wants you to repent. He wants you to turn to him because the only thing that is considered good in his eyes is his will. He always is right. He's not like partially right or maybe he's got an opinion. Anything we do in our right in our own eyes, according to Genesis 3, is by the very definition of evil. In fact, this is the lie that the serpent said to Eve, and she brought to Adam and said, you know, Adam, here's how I'm going to make a little dialogue up. Adam, we're over 900 years old. We've named every animal. We're so beautiful and brilliant. I think we're graduated. I, think, I met the serpent in the garden, and he told me, we don't need to consult God again. We know what's good and evil ourselves. And Adam said, you know, I don't know if I believe that. So he stopped for a few days and said, you know, I think you're right, Eve. So they arrived in the garden, and, G and the Lord showed up, and he said, Why are you naked in the garden? And they weren't naked without their little, little fig loads or whatever. They were naked spiritually because they weren't covered by the spiritual truth of the Most High God, which means you consult God on everything, not just 10% of what you do. And God said, I shall cast you out of the Garden of Eden. And for this reason... Death and suffering shall pursue you and your descendants on earth. And now, of course, the human lifespan started to drop and drop and drop after the casting out of the garden. God wants to restore the Edenic covenant 
and the Edenic frequencies and a long life to mankind. And he's actually promised me that he was going to give me that technology, which I have now. But he said there's a condition. The condition is you must do only my will. That's why the human race that's saved is fit to marry as the bride of Yeshua that's the incarnation of the Creator God in flesh. And he's coming back. And when the marriage supper occurs, it means that we collectively, as the bride of God, the human race, and we're talking about right now millions, maybe down the road, billions or trillions, that we are literally the bride as we spread across the heavens, across the cosmos, because we are fused our spirit with the spirit of the Most High. We can only do good and not evil. And at that point, we are co-equal with the Creator. People don't know our destiny, do they? It's above the angels. Above the angels means we're fit to be the bride of God. That's what's kind of, that's what our destiny is. But you know what? We have a great abortion of Satan here to abort the human race and to cast us into the lake of fire. And it isn't just like hell, like going to Sammy Davis Jr. and Flip Wilson and playing, you know, canasta or gambling in hell and having hot drinks. No, it's called annihilation. Your comments, go ahead. <clears throat> the scariest words in the Bible to me are, depart from me, I knew you not. Right. That means that you did not. You can claim that you're doing good works and you, you were a good person. Unlike the, what the Pope says, you know, if you do good works, you'll go to heaven. No, it's not the way it goes. No, not at all. I, I, I guarantee you there's nicer people than me that do more good works. They're already guaranteed if they don't repent and turn to God for what they should be doing, are guaranteed for annihilation. Their physical yep. life may be wonderful. They may be a perfect example of a decent human being that supports with their finances and their time, whatever. But if they're not doing the will of the Most High God, they're by definition evil. I'm sure there's decent Muslims and Hindus and atheists and agnostics and whatever. And those decent people will die and their souls will be annihilated. That will be the end of their existence. Right? Oh, yeah. They spend eternity in the brimstone and fire. I mean, it's going to be tormented. Well, it takes eternity to destroy them, but they're going to be destroyed. They're, they're, and by the way, it's not a party. It's it's loneliness and annihilation together. Now, people say, well, I disagree with you, Diggle. You can't. Uh, it must be almost 30 years ago I was driving a patient of mine that wanted to blow his brains out. This is back in Enfield. So I called over to his home and he said, oh, Dr. Diggle, I'm going to blow my brains out. I said, no, no, don't do that. I got a shotgun, I'm going to stick my mouth and blow my brains out. I said, no, 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 don't do that. It was back in the 90s. I said, I'm going to come over to your home. And I'm a nervy character. So I went over to his home, I got the shotgun away from him. And I got him in my car and I decided to drive him to the psychiatric hospital 45 minutes away in the middle of a winter windstorm. On my way back, I heard the voice of God. He speaks to me sometimes audibly. He's like, Dr. Diggle. Bill Diggle. And you spoke with my Hebrew name, by the way. Everybody has a Hebrew name on the white stone. And there's three Hebrew letters to designate your name. Did you know that? Three Hebrew letters not. are word pictures that designate your name. He gave, called me by my name. Um, let's see if I can remember the exact words of what he called me. But anyway, he said, I'm going to show you the abyss. And I said, I'm driving back in the storm, God. Uh, I want to get back in one piece. And God said, don't worry, I'm God. I'm thinking, yeah, you're funny too. God's got a sense of humor, you know. you got to realize the smartest stand-up comedian in the world is God. He can be pretty damn funny. And he rebuked me right there on the spot. So he brought me high above this bottomless pit where I saw people just bring like sparks falling in this pit and screaming in hellish fire. It wasn't an external fire. It was an internal fire knowing they're going to be separated from the Creator for eternity. I said, I can't count how many are here. Millions, maybe billions. He said, I said, who are they? He said, they are those that will come to this place of annihilation if you do not serve to me as my son and servant and prophet. And I cried so hard, I, I couldn't talk for a day. I came home and I tried to talk to my wife. It still breaks my heart when I see what God showed me. And that's why I'm so driven. I'm 68 and I'm going to you know, soon be 70 in just two years. And I don't see the church repenting. I see your ministry teaching repentance and talking about truth, but I don't see most of them are out there. They're in la-la land. They want to do so many good works. They think God must like me. I'm doing good. 
I'm painting fences. I'm providing money for the poor. I'm doing this and that. I shake hands with people of different skin colors in church on Sunday. I dance when I go to the public meetings. Do they have a real sense of faith? You know, Jesus said, when I return to earth, will there be faith? You know what faith is? It's like a guarantee from Amazon you're going to get a package that night. It's a guarantee from God that he actually loves you and is going to heal your body from cancer or he's going to repair a relationship, whatever. I don't see faith in this world, do you? I see a faceless, arrogant, self-centered, narcissistic, even jellyfish world. Do you like that instead of evangelicals? I call them evil jellyfish. Right, yeah. It is a... a I don't know if it's apathy or... Uh, oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. It's ego. You see, when if God crushes your ego down, like he's done to mine, down to make a, a fragrant perfume to his nostrils, he make, he builds you back up once he actually turns you into a fragrant saying, in a sense. He says, you know, when you become a son or daughter of the Most High, God will rebuild you up from the inside. He will transplant his spirit and his soul to you. And you won't even think about doing evil because... Every thought you have, every intention of your heart, you will correct, and you'll be looking for the Urim and Thummim stones in your spirit to tell you, is this a yes or no, God? Is this a yes or no? Is this a yes or no? Because everybody has that. They somebody have a little pulling in their heart to say, is this right or wrong? That right or wrong is the Urim and Thummim stones in your spirit, just like the high priest that goes into the Holy of Holies. But people don't want to assess God. They don't read their Bible. They don't want to pray. The most important thing we can do on earth is pray. Isn't it? Right, Jerry? Oh, yeah. We're supposed to communicate these events with happening. The so when I see these events happening, I see a narcissistic egomaniac who is a thousand times better than these demon demon rats, off on a tangent, screwing up with Syria, screwing up with the Kurds, screwing up with 5G network, which is toxic e-toxins poisoning us, five, uh, genetically modified food and fracking that causes earthquakes. My God, man, and we've been trying for several years. I even sent from God gave me a laser net interferometry system protected against nukes. We got phony letters back from Donald Trump that indicate that the same functionary morons did the same kind of letter 18 months ago. My cohort, John W. Spring, who was a whistleblower from 1961 for the Cuban Missile Crisis, by notifying him they had a YouTube flight over in 1961 to prove that the Russians had Cuban missiles, and Lower Chile and, and, and Grenada Island in 1983. This moron in the White House and his staff around him are shielding from us that have a intelligence you can verify with the little satellite photos we have and their own intel agencies, and they won't answer. I'm very frustrated. I, and I'm really close. I have one contact who wants to sell kind of insurance things to Trump, and he's got a hold of Trump's son. I don't know what the heck to do next, other than I can get people to say, write an email to Trump, tell him if he doesn't listen to the Samuel Council of Dr. Deagle and my cohorts, people like you. He's finished. Even if he gets reelected, he will screw up the nation and guarantee a thermonuclear war and the death of most Americans and the death of our ecosystem of the planet. And two centuries now, if there's a remnant of human beings left, they won't even believe the legend that there was in America. Do you know that? Yeah. People say, you mean two centuries from now, they won't believe America existed? Yeah, it'll be gone. To be a tiny remnant of human beings left on the earth, and they won't even think, oh, you gotta be kidding. That could never occur. Back in a moment with more. Are you still looking for that one iodine that you can really trust? A medical doctor endorsed product that is backed by honest research and true integrative science. Then search no further. Go to Nutramedical.com for Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutriodine, proven time and time again to be the very best iodine available for you. Nutriodine is the only Tesla-activated monatomic plasma iodine in the world. It optimizes mitochondrial function and generation of new mitochondria from totally neutral the venom from a desert recluse spider bite in Southern California to eliminating malaria parasites reported by medical missionaries in Central India. Dr. Bill's Nutriodine is simply 
the most powerful healing formula there is. Nutriodine clears the body of all known pathogens, restores it to an alkaline state, and even promotes stem cell regeneration. Order Dr. Bill's Nutriodine today at 888-212-8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Red Deer Velvet DR is an amazing new product with a patent to preserve 300 biomolecules and six hormones, same as fetal life, where you don't age at all. The state of fetal life allows the 300 biomolecules and six hormones produced by the placenta to be supportive of the regeneration uh, of tissues and organs with maximum apoptosis, uh, changing the tissue and organ structure of a fetus. That's why if fetal surgery is performed, there is no scar. Taking uh, two to three capsules twice a day with oncomycin, MycoD2, uh, provides an amazing support for regeneration of any tissue and organ in the body, and even advanced stem cell therapy support treatment. Do uh, get Nutramedical's Red Deer Velvet DR from Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com, N-U-T-R-I-Medical.com, 888-212-8871. Stay well and stay young with Nutramedical. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Deagle, MD, AAEM, ACAM, A4M, of Nutramedical.com, and a consultant providing email advice free on advanced protocols for your optimized wellness and advanced technologies to heal and regenerate you. You can contact us at Nutramedical.com, that's N U T R I Medical.com, or 888 212 8871. You get free email starter protocols of our top medical-grade nutraceuticals, initial testing, and recommendations for your own primary doctor to do, as well as recommendations to give you an idea of a consultation and a full protocol to try to help you regenerate your tissues, heal naturally without the use of toxic polypharmacy. I can send test kits to you as well anywhere in the world and provide you recommendations for referral of specialty clinics worldwide. So contact me, Dr. Bill Deagle, at Nutramedical.com. That's N-U-T-R-I medical.com or 888-212-8871. At Nutramedical.com, we have the most amazing drinks with the best both feel, highest quality bionutrient uh, exposure to your body to heal and regenerate, and the uh, most powerful persistence of nutrients to heal your body dramatically. We have Ageless, which makes you age less, which repairs your DNA, extends your telomeres, etc., we have life support that detoxes phase two detox pathways, glucuronidation, sulfation, and methylation pathway support. We have glycemics that blocks the carbohydrate absorption and helps with diabetes or weight loss, and as well helps with people that are trying to build up muscle using things like our um, special formulas from Dr. Wolf called Mega Muscles between meals along with Sports Energy Light. We have the amazing Nutri Complete, the most complete red and re- greens drink in the world with the best mouthfeel and flavor. You can often mix it too with Vitamin Mineral Mix, which is our fruit flavored mix power of vitamin minerals. Stay well with Nutramedical every day. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. There was something so pleasant about that place. So Jerry, um, I know you probably had some other topics other than me ranting for a while, but I'm a little worked up over this thing with Syria because I see the uh, clouds gathering over Israel. And the idea that Trump thinks he's a smart ass trying to pull back 28 troops and not deploy and attack the Turks and withdraw them from NATO, he says, I'm going to do sanctions. What are you going to do? Economic sanctions? Yeah, that's minor stuff. You can close down the bank accounts of everybody in Turkey. You can close down Erdogan's bank accounts. These people are maniac Muslims. Do you know you're never going to have a treaty with Muslims? They consider it uh, uh, basically their Muslim law. Takia and Maruna. Do you know those two terms? Takia and no, Maruna. No, I don't. It means lying to them is what Islam and Allah ask you to do. Lie like hell even if it kills your so-called ally. Did you know that? Hmm. Do you think there's ever going to be a peace treaty with Israel? Yeah, there's going to be a peace treaty with the Muslims when they're dead in the ground and their bones are moldering in the soil. There's no such thing as an idea of a peace treaty with any form of Islam, Sunni or Shiite. These are devil relationships. I've had Walid Shabbat and his son Theodore on my show many times over the years. And of course, I've had also Dr. Bill Warner, who wrote Political Islam with Tennessee State University professor, who's retranslated the Hadith and the Quran. And if you read these in little old things, which you can get his books over at politicalislam.com, you realize, and I'm not an intellectual idiot, you realize 
that these genius people like uh, Walid Shabbat and his son Theodore, he was, by the way, a Palestinian terrorist. He got married to an American and became a Christian and had a Christian son and came to America as an American now. And we have Tennessee State University professor Dr. Bill Warner, who wrote these books, if you go to Political Islam and get his books, there's no way you're ever going to have peace with Islam. It's nuts. We have 10.6 million Muslims in this country, 52% would support Sharia law in this country to, to trump American Constitution, state and federal law. 20% would do violence against fellow Americans if ordered by leaders in Islam. That's by an internal poll. Did you know that? Yeah, it, their, their goal is to rule take over and right. get rid of the internet. They're like a pathogen. They're like, they're like, oh, I got a little sore on my toe. It's not a little sore. It's mesocillin resistant staph aureus. It's going to eat your freaking leg. By next week, we're going to have to amputate that part of your foot or leg or you're going to die. And we don't take that. We don't close these imams or mosques. We don't ex deport the Muslims. We don't actually st stop this crap. And we have the stupid idea somehow we're going to have a peace accord with them. The Israelis are smart enough. They don't try to have peace with Islam. We're stupid, okay? You know, like uh, uh, Forrest Gump says, stupid is as stupid does? Yeah. I'm not, I don't know who the hell it was advising Trump, but man, he's had too many aspartame lace cokes. His brain's on fire. You can see his eyes puffy. He looks like he's blowing up. He's the fastest president we had since William Howard Taft. The man is a, is a narcissistic egomaniac, and he's getting sicker. At some point, his health will break. He'll have a stroke or heart attack or something. Oh, what happened to Trump? What happened to Trump was he was such an egomaniac that he doesn't even take this seriously. I would immediately declare martial law. I put Nancy Pelosi, uh, Mr. Nadler, I call it Rattler, and Mr. Shit, S-H-I-T-T, in prison. And I put it to a military tribunal if necessary to have them executed. We need to get, we need to start cleaning up. We need to shut down the media, CNN, MSNBC. I've changed it to MSLSD. We need to shut down Washington Post and Mr. Uh, Amazon owner who owns it. I'd seize Washington Post and shut them down. I wouldn't put up with other this dialogue. This is a coup. This is not normal. The whole country's in is in spasms over this. And the Democrats think that if they be spurts the name of Trump, and Trump's no genius, he's no angel. But the thing is, he's now insulated by a bunch of globalist maniacs who won't let us get through to him. If we can't get through to the city at Mount Trump, he'll have 5G network with Huawei in China. He'll have genetically modified food. He'll be fracking everywhere, causing earthquakes in Arizona and, and New Mexico and Oklahoma, et cetera, all over the place. And he'd be pouring the toxic water back into the water supply. Do you like your water now? Of course I don't like my water with hydrogen sulfide. Now my kidneys are concentrated, so it's dissolving my toilet and steel down line. Did you know that? Hydrogen sulfide will do that, concentrated by a human? Yeah. Do you think Trump understands this? Trump knows nothing. He understands how to do a business, how to build a building or hotel, and how to wrangle with people like the art of the, of the, of the negotiations. That's it. Otherwise, he's a blithering, right, narcissistic, egomaniac moron. He's another Hollywood type. He wants people to worship him. I don't want people to worship me. I don't want people to even believe anything I say. I want them to, to test it. Pray, research, and then test. And once they find out that it's true, for God's sake, take action. Whether it's preparing yourself nutritionally for the future, getting your health back, or preparing yourself financially with things like care bars. Do you know that we're only a couple of years away from the mark of the beast? Next October 1st, which is less than a year away now, the National World ID instituted by George Bush Jr. before he left takes over every country on Earth. Do you know the World ID takes over next year, October 1st? Yeah, there are people in Sweden that are taking the chip now. And that's not uh, their ID, their... You don't even need a chip. Let me tell you, you can use it with it's a thing called... There's a thing they advertise on TV. You can do biometrics for your eye your bones, you can actually, yeah. do you know that you can actually scan someone's bones traveling at 70 miles an hour on the freeway 500 meters away and they can tell who you are and what seat you're sitting in doing a, a distant uh, scan of your bones in the back of a vehicle, they can tell who you are traveling at 70 miles an hour on the freeway do you know that? I wasn't aware of that technology The long, uh, you already have it, they already have it listen, I know everything, okay 
Oh, well, Deagle, how do you know that? I said, I know everything. I actually, the angel met me on October 10th, 1993, and he said, I'm taking you to the city from which the mark of the beast would come. And he's a big sucker. And he brought me, like, you know, the uh, Christmas carol through dozens of secure facilities. And he explained all the technology. I said, where the heck city is it? He was laughing at me, cracking gay jokes, and I was an idiot, which I was. And then eventually I said, well, well, give me the clue. And he said, well, there's Pastor Dutch Sheets is going to be here. So I called. I knew Pastor Dutch Sheets was at Christ for the Nation in Dallas. It's said, oh, I'm moving to Dallas. He didn't. He was moving to Colorado Springs. So I called there. No jobs anywhere. Everybody wants to move to Colorado Springs. It's like the, the Christian Mecca for like, the, like, like it moving to Rome if you're a Catholic. So in February, my wife got a vision and a dream that says, hey, you should just call the hospital. So the second hospital she called, you got a call back from Joyce Wolf at SECOM, the Colorado Center for Ahmed, that had a contract with all these classified facilities. I flew down, and four days later, because I'd done research in Ahmed and rheumatology, surface EMG, toxicology, and so on, I got the job next down to the commander. In nine months to the day, I was taken through the laser retinal scanners at Trevor Air Force Base, 18 miles east of Colorado Springs and Garbage Dump Road to Falcon. And brought two miles down, and the elevator dropped so fast, your feet came off the floor, you're going to free fall. And the doors opened like Star Trek. And I was like in an underground city. I know more than any other human being that's ever been exposed to this stuff in all the classified areas on Earth. People said, no, that can't be possible. I said, well, listen to the show. I'm going in a private video line. I'm going to set up here shortly a bunch of more, even deeper stuff I'm going to put on video. A lot of my supernatural experiences, God said, well, how did this happen? How did that happen? God was in control, not Deagle. I had one guy in Minnesota said back in 1999, he said, Deagle, I believe most of what you said sounds makes sense. But we did a five and a half, six hour discussion, except for bathroom breaks. And I said, how can one human being be in there? You had to be like 42 people. I said, God had my day timer. I was a doctor for not only the, the first kid shot in Columbine, Mark Taylor, I was a doctor for the exit exam for the Alpha P. Murrah building in Oklahoma City, which used the same technology to blow up the, Murrah, the World Trade Center. Why did God permit me to do that? Because he called me before I was born. That's how bad this is. And people don't realize we are headed to a thermonuclear war that God showed me eight and a half years old when I was high above heaven. And so I looked down and saw the thermonuclear bombs destroying most of the cities in America more than anywhere else on earth. That's what I see coming. Because America has not turned back to their most, the creator God and repented. These churches think they're repenting. I'm doing good works. I'm repenting. No, you're not. You don't look for God's word. You don't ask for the prophet to speak in your church, do you? Does anybody in churches want to hear from a prophet or an apostle, do they? What do you think, Jerry? No, I think they're there to be seen. I think they're there for the milk and cookie sermon that whatever milk toast pastor is going to throw out there to make them feel good. And be they, want to feel, they want to feel good about the fact they're going to hell and going to be annihilated. They want to make them feel but good I, that they're actually so nice. God shouldn't, you know, cast them off and destroy them. Yeah, I'm a good person, Dr. Bill. I do good work. I, I, I do good works. I'm a good person. God <laughs> surely likes me. Listen, God does not get it on that scale. You're not scared. You know what God does the scale? If you do my will, the word Hebrew word is Shema. It's like the Shin, you know. Remember the, the sign where you like, you know, like Spock, separate the third and fourth finger and make the big V. And I'm going to say a little bit of the start of the prayer. This is the ironic prayer. Baruch Ata Adonai Melech Alam. Okay? Those are Hebrew words saying, you know, the ironic blessing is on you because God's given me the authority to bless you personally or nationally. If you do not do God's will, you're by definition doing evil. Even though it looks, tastes, and smells good. There's a lot of good do-gooders are going to hell. No, Dr. Daniel, I'm a nice person. I said, you know, <laughs> if the devil's going to eat you, you'll taste great in hell. Do you think the devil's not going to be annihilated? Of course he is. That's why he says, woe to you earth and sea, for the devil is very angry because he knows his days of his destruction are coming. The devil used to be the covering cherub in heaven. The most intelligent created being in the universe is going to have a day of annihilation. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. The devil is not going to live forever. He is so angry over that. He came here to abort the human race 
and prepared the marriage service of the Lamb, which means the Bride of Heaven, the Queen of the Heavens, us, saved humanity, have to submit to God's will and have to crush our own ego like a perfume fragrant to the nose of God to actually do only His will. Doing good works is a guarantee for not only no faith, but annihilation. And these yeah. no faith churches, by the way, I can't stomach going to a public church. I can't. I try to, and my gut, I get this, oh, 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 I start retching. I went to a thing called Los Cross Church. It's got 14 campuses, only 40,000 people. And I asked one of the pastors a few years ago, I went there just a few times, do you teach anything on prophecy? Oh, no. We're just a welcoming club. We don't understand that. I said, you're kidding. A third of the Bible you don't understand? Do you want anybody that knows prophecy like I do to even come and speak? Oh, no, we can't do that. They don't even want to raise issues to start a dialogue, right? Disgusting. Some don't even want to talk about Revelation, Dr. Bill. They don't want to talk about it. And by the way, whatever eschatology they have is nuts. Like, we're going to have the rapture. These people want to push the rapture. I've seen many people, even like Gary Stearman and others. They're nuts. If you look at an Aramaic Bible, it says the rapture is taking the evil load of the earth and throwing it to the Valley of Gehenna. God is going to sanctify the earth by removing evil, not good. Two in their field and one is taken. The one taken is not good. It's evil. God's going to take the evil and cut them out of the world of the living, isn't he? But people aren't yeah. prepared for that. They think, well, Dr. Deagle, you're wrong. No, I'm not wrong. Get an Aramaic Bible, study yourself before even the Septuagint Bible was written in Latin. You're kidding, Dr. Deagle. I said, no, we're not kidding. Do you think God's intention is to allow evil on earth while he takes Christians away so they can look down from heaven? He wants us as human beings to have children so he has descendants on earth and as we spread across the galaxy and the stars and re-terraform Mars and distant planets. He wants us to be the agent of good in our universe, the queen of the heavens. Now there's an eternal place of heaven, maybe you'll live a thousand or ten thousand years, but ultimately you get to be with God in eternity. But God's intention is to have his people be his bride. Yes, sir. People don't get that? Better get it today. You're not going to hear it elsewhere. You're not going to hear it in this dumb church, Milk and Cookies Church. Today is a day of judgment and repentance, people. And I don't see it in Donald Trump. I see the man as an arrogant, narcissistic, young maniac, leading us toward annihilation with his son-in-law, a wizard, trying to set the USMC Treaty, the Middle Eastern Treaty, etc. We are marching toward the cliff like lemmings. Aren't we? We're hitting there. We are. We'll see you again next month. And tomorrow, I'll be on hour number one and two. Hour three will be a rebroadcast of our hour one yesterday with Ryan. So we'll be here with Ryan and Gary Richard Arnold, and then I'm going to be gone. I have to leave early. Which is most.